please like and subscribe. So here we are on the hard at Ram Marina. In this week's episode, we show how important our dinghy is, especially here in the Rio Dolce. You need a dinghy to go anywhere. We show our problems with the dinghy. We show how we had to borrow a boat to go exploring. We then talk about the boat work, how we mix with other cruisers, where we go shopping, and last of all, with the dinghy fixed, we go on a picnic tour of the Rio Dulce. Within days of getting here, the dinghy outboard broke down. We carried out a full service with oil changes, oil filters, new impeller, spark plugs. Turns out the real problem was a broken electronic control unit. After much searching, we had to get a new one from Japan. Okay, so we've got a new engine control unit for the one that broke about four weeks ago. Now we're going to fit it here in the water. Hopefully um, this unit, which has come from Japan, will work fine. Yeah. See. <laughs> Put the screws on. One, two, three, four. Here's the ECU here. Yeah. One, two. Three, four bolts. Take it out. This thing's falling apart. The old one. Thousand dollars. <laughs> Okay. Sounds good. The water coming out the side? Yeah. <laughs> While waiting for the dinghy to get fixed, the marina lent us the launch and we took it one Saturday up to Lake Isabel. Lake Isabel was beautiful. It was not unlike Lake Kariba where Frank actually grew up with the mountains surrounding the lovely calm lake water. And of course the lovely calm water gave Frank the opportunity to put the hammer down and go full throttle. It also meant that the Admiral got to sit up front and enjoy the ride in the smooth water. But back to the matter at hand, the sanding of the hull and the topsides, and all the other work that is going on, such as headliners, wood, curtains, canvas. In preparation for the new paint, um, all the old paint needs to be sanded off and so very good progress has been, has been made already. Uh, most of the anti-slip has been removed and everywhere you look there's a person with a sanding machine. Here we walk around the uh, top deck, around the aft upper deck 
uh, past the Portuguese bridge and, and down towards the controls on the port side. This is the result of several weeks of uh, sanding by the team. Sí, para que salga el agua. Ah. Using acetone to help draw out the water from the holes that we've drilled to dry it out. In the background over there you can see the paint shed where we will be moving in about a week's time. In the meantime they've erected the shade cloth tent over the foredeck to protect the workers from the sun. Even as we watch the workers preparing the boat for painting, every Monday there's a meetup of the various cruises and yachts organized by one of the uh, boats here, Low Expectations. On this particular Monday, Margarita Monday was held at Anna's coffee shop. <laughs> Depending on the event, it can be quite a tricky negotiation at night, navigating one's way home. Our dinghy is essential to us on the Rio, as you kind of need to go everywhere using the dinghy. Here we are um, going down the canal towards the supermarkets. Uh, the canal terminates at a place to park the dinghies, which is only a short walk from the supermarket entrance. Shopping day. The supermarket, the bank. Western Union. The supermarket is well stocked. It has many familiar products. Um, the pricing is very reasonable and it's just a matter of really identifying where everything is for us. Chinese food truck, solar panels, really cool. If you walk out of the supermarket car park and behind the food truck, you see the Admiral walking up towards the pharmacy and next to it is a butcher's, which is very good. Looking back the other way, which we just came, you can see the street leading up to the bridge. true butcher shop fashion they will cut the meat um, on request so we've ordered quite a few t-bone steaks and ground beef they grind the beef up uh, on request so here he is um, about to put our mince through the mincing machine for a second time they'll then pack it as required With the dinghy back working, we decided to take a ride up to El Gofito, where we'd come with the big boat. The water was flat calm. I wanted to get to where the lilies were. It's so beautiful. We then went a bit further down into the Rio Dolce and had a picnic 
with the cliffs on either side of us. It was beautiful. For those of you who are waiting for more details on the boat costs, we'll be addressing those as the work progresses. I want to be able to do a comparison with US costs. Next time, we move into the paint shed and the work progresses 